Hello and welcome to another quick tour for Cartographic Version 1.2. In this screencast, we'll be talking about counting points and polygons. Um, so, in, in this example, we have a block group layer for Washington, D.C., and a point level data for uh, retail sites within the city. And so, what we're going to figure out is which block groups in the city have the most uh, shopping, we'll call it. Um, and the way to do that is to simply count the number of points in each individual block group and then display the map. Um, and so the way to do it is to first highlight the block group polygon layer in the layer stack and then come up to tools and find where it says count points in polygons kind of right there in the middle of the the tools menu and then click on that button and then you, this window will appear and it, this basically tells us uh, where we're going to count points from and what we're going to call our new field that we create or our new column and so we're going to count points from the retail site point data and um, you see that these two arrows on the right hand side um, allow us to, to click so if we had other point data added to our map we could click these arrows and a menu would drop down and we could select which points we wanted to count but in this case and for this example we just have the retail sites added uh, but know that you can add um, any point data um, that you have added to your map to this count option um, we're going to rename our variable we're just going to call it retail sites and then we're just going to click count and that and that will count the variables and so if we come down here to the bottom um, still with our block group layer still uh, highlighted in the layer stack come all the way over here to the right you see we have this new variable called retail site um, which will have a lot of zeros but we'll also have some with uh, a lot of of counts in them so we can get all the way down to the bottom and see uh, we have a, a range of 0 to 43 and so what we're going to do is simply display that count of our retail sites to determine which block groups have the most uh, shopping. And so we'll first uh, uncheck the, the retail sites uh, layer just so we can kind of get those out of our way. And we'll double click on the block group layer and we're going to basically create a chloropleth map. We've covered this in other screencasts. Um, but this is another good example of how to join two two uses of Cartographica into into one operation here. So we're counting points and now we're going to display the count the, the points that we counted, um, which is very useful. So we're going to click on the retail site uh, field here under the based on option. And then we're going to add a few categories. In this case we'll add six. And so you can see we can see our range again from zero to forty three. Then we're just going to distribute across those six categories. So we get the natural breaks and jinx classification uh, across these six categories and now we're just going to simply bring up our color palettes uh, window again and we're going to simply drag and drop the color scheme into our uh, window here and the colors of our different gradations of our retail size variable will now be displayed on our map and looking at the map it looks to seems to make some sense most of the the heavy retail sites are in the downtown location which is logical um, and if we don't know what each individual color corresponds to again we can click on the show legend and the legend box will appear we can click on the triangle and now we can see what the individual colors correspond to on our map and that is counting points in polygons in cartographic version 1.2 thank you for listening